Hi, my name is Joe and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawkridge Systems. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Location Outline and Function Outline tools in SolidWorks Electrical Schematic 2014. If you take a look at this line diagram that I have drawn in front of us, at the top here I have six of these circuit breaker symbols and at the bottom I have a control panel, starter switch, and indicator light. Now on my schematic, it looks like all of these components are right next to each other. However, in real life, we know that that may never be the case. These circuit breakers may be in another building miles away. One way to add that kind of information is to add a text box, but that's not very interactive and it forces the person who's looking at the schematic to either know ahead of time to look for it or to have an intuitive sense of how the system will be constructed in the first place, which isn't always the case. One way that we could add this information is to use the location outline or function outline tools. I'm going to use the location outline tool first. Going to the line diagram tab and selecting it from the command manager by left clicking, I can see that they have the option to choose either a rectangle or a polygon. I'm going to choose the basic rectangle and just put a box around my circuit breaker components. I'm brought to the master list of locations which is also accessible from the project tab and you'll notice that right now we only have one. I'm going to add a new sublocation and give it a tag SL for sublocation and a description of circuit breaker cabinet and say OK. I'll click the select button here to choose it from the list and I'm given the option to either change the component location or do nothing. Doing nothing will add the box and add a little bit of text saying where it is but it doesn't actually do anything. By changing the component location I'm going to show you some additional functionality that comes out of using the tool. You'll notice that as promised, I get the box along with the tag indicating where they are located. But if you look over here in our components list, you'll notice that all six of those circuit breakers have been moved from the top level power distribution system location to the sub-level one circuit breaker cabinet location, making it easy for us to find them and navigate to the symbol in the diagram. What if instead of a location, you wanted to indicate components in the system that have a different or maybe even the same task without having to necessarily put them all in the same sheet. Well, one way that we could accomplish that is by using the function outline tool, which works much the same way as the location outline tool. By going to the function outline tool, I can click on it and choose again just to do a regular box. And I'm going to put a box around my uh, components down here at the bottom. I'm going to add a new function and call this for control and say OK. I'm going to go ahead and select this from the list and change the components function. At first you'll notice that nothing seems to have changed in our component list, but that's because we're viewing the locations. If I right click at the top and choose to sort by the functions view and expand out our main function, you'll notice that all of the circuit breakers still have the main function designation. But if I expand out our for control function, the three uh, symbols that I have boxed in here appear there. This is just another way of organizing your project, either in an abstract way based on what the components do, or in a literal way or a physical way based on where the components are located in the system. You can use both in order to encapsulate more information. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to use the location outline tool and put a box around those that we said just, for, just now for control. I'm going to add a new location and call this SL2. And we're going to go ahead and call this uh, the control room and say OK. I'm going to select it from the list again and change the component's location. Notice how nothing appears to have changed here in our uh, list of components for functions. But if I right click and switch back to our locations view, we now have two neatly organized sublocations. And if I go to my control room, those three components are there as well. Today I showed you how to use the Location Outline and Function Outline tools in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic 2014. If you liked these tips and tricks and would like to see more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.